Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great week, and I wanna spend a little time for our artist highlight section. This week, we're actually gonna highlight a style of dancing, not just one person. I'm gonna show you a few different little videos of different artists performing this specific style of dance, okay? Now, as you start to roll your eyes, I'm not making you watch anything super serious, okay? We're actually talking about step dancing. Does anybody know what step dancing is? It's a blanket term, it's a general term for a very specific style of dancing. If we say step, we're probably talking about feet, right? So step dancing is the blanket term we use for everything from tap dancing all the way into clogging and Irish step dancing. Now, all three of these types of dancing, if you just see them out, if you just see someone doing them, if you don't really know the differences, they all look very similar. You might think they're all the same thing, but there's actually very specific differences that I'm gonna explain to you, and then you're gonna watch a couple different videos that like, are people performing these specific styles of, of their, their step dancing. So the first one I wanna talk to you about is the youngest, the youngest form of step dancing, which is called tap dance. Now, most of the time when we talk about tap dancing, you probably have these ideas, these images pop into your head, right? Of people jumping around, maybe singing in the rain and tapping their feet really fast and they have little metal plates on their shoes. Tap dance is the youngest of all three of these forms. And it actually got its, its big start really in urban New York, in big cities. And the idea was that it was usually a solo. Somebody just improvisationally that means they made it up as they went, improvisation. They made up a dance as they went. And a lot of times that style of music goes with the melody. So if you have a slower, slower piece of music, the, the, the tapping kind of goes with that. And it kind of goes with the beat of the music and the style. So then if you have a faster song, they would probably tap faster, exactly. Um, so this specific style, they have very small taps by comparison. They usually only have two, and the, the taps are at the front and the back of the shoe, and they can be tightened to, to make the sound um, more sharp, and, it less, and there's less vibration. I'm gonna show you a video, well, your teacher's gonna show you a video of Fred Astaire, one of the best dancers in the world. Um, he's no longer with us, but he, he was one of the premier tap dancers uh, and this specific video comes from a movie called Holiday Inn. And this dance is one of my very favorites. The first time I watched it, I think I was four or five. And it's a really cool piece that, that was choreographed, right? So they did have a plan for how it was gonna work because there were explosives. And this was um, a very different idea because he was kind of improv making it up as he went around these specific moments. And so he taps and then it looks like he throws a firecracker down and then there's a small little explosion. Now. On our scale, it's not a big explosion, it's very small, but for the day and time in which this was filmed, they filmed it all in like one shot. There are certain sections where they, they only filmed it a couple of times, so you watch him do the entire piece with these explosives happening on the downbeat, and it's kind of cool, but I want you to watch the way his feet move is very relaxed, his body is relaxed. At the day and time that this was filmed, it was normal to smoke, we don't do that now, but it, it kind of gives this idea of like, ah, I'm just doing this for fun. This isn't hard at all. It's supposed to look easy. So that's tap dance. That's video number one, okay? You ready for video number two? Number two, I want you to watch clogging. Now, clogging is a blanket term. Again, it, it's one of the, the other step dancing forms and clogging and tap dance are really very similar. A lot of times people get those confused, but clogging is actually older than tap dance. Clogging comes actually directly from Irish and Scottish immigrants that moved into the Appalachian Mountains. Okay, so like where I grew up in Middle Tennessee and that whole area and on around, um, in the mountains where these people who immigrated, who came over from Ireland, they brought the music that they were used to listening to with them. Um, and instruments like the mandolin and the violin, uh, those, those instruments and the way they're played, like the fiddle, those, those faster music pieces, the way that we get um, bluegrass music now, and a lot of times it's very fast plucking, that very quick rhythm. The idea of clogging 
comes from Irish step dance. Now clogs are a little bit different. Um, they have four big taps that kind of span the shoe and they slide and stomp. A lot of times you have a very flat foot and you push way down into the floor and it looks like you're kicking into the floor. It's also done in groups, not necessarily huge groups, but a lot of times you'll notice that people kind of either do it in couples and they make formations with their bodies or they do it in like a line and everybody does similar stepping. It's a whole lot of stomping. It's still pretty relaxed, like your upper body can move. Sometimes they'll clap or move their arms or jump um, and you're gonna watch a piece on that and it's a, it's a modern day piece of uh, just a group of clogging and I want you to look at the differences, that versus tap, it looks very different. This is a little bit more formal. And again, it's older, it's an older form. And if you're doing it with a group, you can't improv, you can't make it up as you go. You all have to do the same thing, right? Cool, so that's clogging. Some people call it Appalachian clogging. Um, so the very last one that we're gonna talk about is the very oldest form. And this, this piece that you're gonna watch, it actually comes from Lord of the Dance. I know that sounds like a crazy, that's, that's what it's called. Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance. But it's Irish step dancing, okay? And that's the oldest form. It's also the most complicated. And it may not look it when you first see, because you're gonna notice that a lot of times they keep their arms way down next to their body and they're very stiff in their upper body. But what's happening is the heels on these shoes that they use, the entire shoe is very, very hard. It doesn't move. Um, well, I mean, it moves, but it doesn't stretch and bend because the shoe itself is very, very hard. In fact, they're not even made, the taps are not made out of metal. They're made out of fiberglass, which is really, really tough. A lot of times the stages that they're dancing on are also fiberglass. And remember how I said like with clogging, you push down really hard. This is a combination. So Irish step dancing, you're pushing really hard into the floor, but that m momentum, the movement that you get when you push also pushes back. And so you have a lot of jumping. And while your upper body is very still, your lower body is moving really fast and it moves on the downbeat and it stays kind of in that same world regardless of how the music is going. And it, it, it lilts, it kind of moves you, it makes you want to tap your feet. So this is, this is going to be Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance. It represents Irish step dancing, the oldest of all three of these. So if you were gonna look at them in a timeline, the oldest is Irish step dancing, clogging, and then modern tap dance. So it was a long introduction, but I hope you enjoy the first one being the, um, the, the tap dancing video with Fred Astaire, then the clogging, and then the Irish step dancing, okay? Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.